Okay, welcome back to um, part two of my Vine K6 88 testing. I've got the microphone set up, it's still on USB, not XLR, but I found software that I forgot about I used years ago. And yeah, here you go. It is, as you can see on the screen, voice meter. Right, then you've got the voice meter, you've got the voice meter normal version. We've got the banana version. These are free, free to use. Right, this is only going to be a setup display for podcasting. If you want to go further into voice meter, there are other YouTubers out there um, explaining about more in depth. Mine is just <clears throat> mine's just to guide you on how to set it up for podcasting with a USB microphone. And it's as simple as anything, trust me. So you go to Banana, you just scroll down, click the exe to install. Well, download, I've downloaded it and installed it already. So you click that, it's only 25 meg. And then when you, it guides you, it tells you there, when you set up program in administration mode and reboot, it tells you anyway to reboot. So you install it and then you get this on the screen, you get this. This is the voice meter and it shows you what's going through at the moment what you do is we need is two different things you select hardware input where you choose your microphone there's mme and wdm i'm using mme because that's the old-fashioned windows one you click the microphone option <laughs> so click the microphone and then you go over to a1 and then you choose where you want to hear the audio from so you can so you generally your headphones unless you're using your speakers from your laptop so i'm using my headphones so i'll click that and um, me again and then you make sure you've got the microphone and then oh you can you can actually donate to the software it's free but yeah <laughs> but and then you've got all these meters here you got the if you want to change the highs and lows you click over and you move this square over that way don't go, try not to go above the line there because that's when it gets a bit higgledy piggledy, you know. So you can move that for deeper and lower, you know, lower tones. If you muck about, you'll understand. This is the meter that shows you when I'm talking. Uh, the B1 option is the way it connects to, you need to select that anyway to, to when you use OBS, because I use OBS with, this, with it. So it just, connects it to OBS really. So all I have to do is ch choose A1, the headphones, which microphone I'm using, that pops up. Which, and you click A1, which will make the sound go through the headphones because you're connected to A1. Then you can move that around and you can hear through the headphones. There's about a half a second delay. So you can change it around, you can hear what it sounds like and then click that again and then you're okay. I choose mono because Mono is better because the sounds equal in both ears rather than different. And then OK. Then you load OBS up and you just choose the option you want. Instead of the microphone, you've got the voice meter. There's two different voice meter options. Try one if that works. It's OK. If not, try the other one. One of the two would work. You can see it by the voice bar going across the screen. but make sure you've got b1 pressed on here because otherwise it won't go through to that i don't know what the, all these options are your master section i haven't sussed them out yet but all i know is this is good enough for me and i have to do anything else and this is a sound i mean i can always alter it i can move that across here so it goes a bit um you know and then you can go over here and it changes it even more so I'm going to go back to where it was, about there-ish. So this sounds okay. You've got other ones. You've got a noise gate here and you've got other one there. So you can actually fiddle about these little options. But this is good enough for me. <laughs> good enough for me. So there you go. That's just a quick thing. The software is free. You do. There are other versions of software. As I said, there's the voice meter. You get the voice meter basic with the banana. You get both software. But I think that's just like if you just want a basic basic one, you know. 
and you've got the potato one, which is uh, long, which is more options. So you can have two, three, four, you can have five microphones, USB microphones plugged in, blah, 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 you know what I mean? So yeah, so that is what I'm using. So what do you think? What do you think? I mean, yeah, uh, I completely forgot about this software. It runs in the background. You've got to have it running in the background when you load OBS up. So the sound does that, you know. It's, uh, if it's not loaded up, then you won't do anything. You know, you have to have it in the background. So you have to make sure you've got enough resources in your laptop and blah, 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 you know. So, yeah, this is just a quick update. I'm still yet to get... I In fact, I changed the... Um, sponge on the on the, the foam bit on the microphone to see what it was like this is a bit thicker so it should help a bit more but let me know what you think yeah and anyway as always i'll see you in the next one